Welcome back to Storytime with Lynn. Today, I'll be sharing with you A Little Spot of Empathy, a story about understanding and kindness, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. Diane dedicates this book to her children, Ryan and Anna. Hi, my name is Empathy. I'm here to help you understand the feelings of others so you can create a connection, make a friend, and show people you care about them. How will you do that? By showing you the power of your thoughts. We all spend a lot of time thinking about ourselves. We think about what we want, what we need, and how we feel. It's important to care about ourselves, but... Sometimes we forget to think about the feelings of others. It can be hard to understand what someone is thinking and feeling. That's why we need to try to see things from their perspective. Perspective is the way someone looks at something. For example, look at this picture. Both of you are looking at the exact same thing but you are each seeing something different. That means you have different perspectives. It's a crayon. It's a house. You can even be in the exact same situation as someone else and have a different perspective. I'm angry she has my toy. Wow, I found this amazing toy, it's mine. Looking at a situation from the other person's perspective can help build a connection instead of causing conflict. Maybe she didn't know it was my toy. I wonder whose toy this is. Now that you have learned a little bit about perspective, you can use that knowledge to try and feel what another person is feeling in a situation. That is called empathy. I think feeling detective could help us out here. Hi, I'm Feeling Detective. I'm great at spotting feelings. Empathy takes a lot of practice. The more people you meet, the more feelings you can spot, and the easier it will be for you to show empathy. As soon as you find a feeling or emotion spot, ask yourself these three questions. What could this person be feeling? Have I felt that way before? How would I want to be treated? It looks like Feeling Detective found a spot. So let's practice the questions. What could this person be feeling? I can see his mouth is turned down into a frown and his eyebrows are turned up. He looks sad. Why do you think he is feeling that way? Maybe he doesn't know how to play soccer. Maybe he feels left out. Maybe he wanted to play something different. Maybe someone was mean to him. Be curious. Learning more about others is a great way to show that you care about their feelings. Listen. This will help you understand how to help them. Hi, how are you doing? Are you okay? I feel sad. I don't know how to play soccer. Now that you've discovered what he is feeling, think, have you ever felt that way? Even if you have not been in the exact same situation, you can still imagine what it would feel like to be them. You can show empathy with your words to let that person know that you are trying to feel with them. Here are some ideas. I understand how you feel. I felt that way before. That would make me sad too. Now that you have an idea of what to say, it's time to show empathy with your actions. How would you want to be treated if you felt that way? This will also help you learn how to be kind. I felt that way before. Is there something else we could play? 
How about we swing at the playground? <laughs> that sounds great. So the next time you spot feelings around you, I'm feeling scared. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling mad. Take the time to show some empathy. I'm mad because I don't like making mistakes. I understand. I don't like making mistakes either, but it helps us grow. I'm sad because I miss my grandpa. That would make me sad too. Can you tell me more about your grandpa? I feel scared riding a bike without training wheels. I felt that way before. Do you want me to help you? Can you imagine how great the world would be if we all showed empathy and kindness? I can't wait to see you start practicing empathy. Practice empathy. Three questions to ask yourself. What could the person be feeling? Have I felt that way before? How would I want to be treated? Thank you so much for joining me today on a story time with Lynn, reading A Little Spot of Empathy, a story about understanding and kindness.